All right, everybody, uh, as promised, I'm going to go ahead and do this video. You guys wanted to see how do you build a tortoise shed out of landscape timbers. I've got everything set up here. I got all my materials ready to go. We're hanging out. It's gonna be a long, uh, long afternoon, but it's all for these guys, the radiated tortoises. I've been lugging them back and forth in the cool evenings, and uh, I would like to be able to just lug them right to that area where their new house is gonna be. So that's what we're doing this video. We're gonna give these little guys a home. There's eight of them, and uh, we gotta make something big enough that can accommodate them during the cold parts of the night during our South Florida winter. And that's what we're doing right now. So I'm gonna get right to it. Bye. Okay, folks, so as you can see, I've been working uh, pretty hard. Uh, it's slow going, yeah, but you get into a rhythm and it's not so bad. So it's starting to shape, take shape. But what I did was just so I know how many more uh, landscape timbers I needed, I mocked them up. They're not actually drilled in yet or glued. Um, I've, I'll show you what I'm doing. I, I do have some spares that I saved from a previous job. I was kind of pack ratting it. I saw some of these on a wood pile. Um, and I grabbed them because they, they weren't rotted. They were a little bit shorter, but not rotted. But for what we're trying to accomplish, they're going to work fine. So what I'm going to do is put these down, okay? And I'll put them in the order that I have to stack them. And what we're going to do is I'll just kind of go through a quick running of the course you need to take. Okay, so first things first, I take my paddle, uh, wood hole driller thing, and I go down halfway, just about halfway, because I want to use the screws that I have. Oh, I think we're losing battery. No matter. You gotta have to pull it back so that it gets the wood chipped out. start with this one. So the next thing I do is simply is uh, throw a little bead of Loctite construction adhesive. It'll seal it. It'll also hold it together a little bit better. Squish it in there. Give it a little squish. All right. Now get my other drill and I dig around for some screws. Since I've countersunk these holes, these screws will hold. There you go, it gets a nice squish out. Loctite. Just move it over a little bit, make sure it's make sure it's nice and uh, lined up. Yeah, this old turtle's house. Tur turtle house. <laughs> cool, let's get another bead on this one now. All right, very good. Let's get it on there. Oh, I love it. Let's get this next one on. Oh man, we're running out of longer screws. Gonna have to buy a box of screws. So I'm basically going to do the same thing around the whole side, go up another course, 
We're going to have a straight beam across here, and uh, that's what I'm up to. So I'll check back with you guys in just a little bit. Later. All right, so day one is done, and I'm gonna call it right here because it's uh, kids' night at the local eating establishment. And uh, we're gonna head on over there with the little ones and get some dinner. Uh, it's not gonna be cold tonight, so I'm not worried about the animals, so I have some time. But here's what I got done so far. So we've got the foundation pretty much done, the structure's done, and I was even able to go ahead and get the frame for the good old door. I'm gonna have a door here. Now this door is not gonna have a pitch. I'm not gonna need it because I've got a roof over this and uh, basically uh, there'll be no rain falling on it, but I will have same aluminum uh, roofing that I have over there on the tortoise shed over there. So uh, basically I'll get some insulation, piece of plywood, nail that down, get the flaps up, and I'd say this thing is done and ready for occupancy. Uh, regular old tortoise Airbnb here. Uh, so I'm really excited. So tomorrow, guys, uh, we'll start it up, okay? We're gonna do something different. This is what all the guys do. All right, so it's day two here. I'm gonna finish this up today. We gotta get the roof on, we gotta get the roof insulated, and we've gotta get the slats in place so the tortoises can walk through it. Uh, so it shouldn't take too long, <laughs> I hope. Um, but we got the hinges on, see? I'm gonna add a couple more braces across the side, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use spray foam or if I'm going to use some rigid insulation when I go ahead and insulate this roof, but we are gonna use that green stuff that's over there. I have plenty more of it. We're gonna cut it, we're gonna lay it down, and uh, yeah, this'll be all set up. Plus, we gotta get the heat in place as well. So we're gonna get it all set up. Very excited, and uh, let's get to it, man. See ya. All right, what's going on everybody? So we are nearing completion here. Uh, we've got the foam all in there. I'm gonna have to trim that down a little bit, but it's just this stuff right over here. Great stuff, you can get it at any home improvement center. Uh, basically, uh, it comes with a little straw that attaches to the nozzle. I uh, spray it a little bit, but it expands, okay? So I am gonna have to trim it back a little bit. I might even break out my uh, foam heating wire. I'll show you that thing. But uh, we're gonna let this kind of cure a little bit longer. In the meantime, I wanna go into the warehouse for this next bit, and I'm basically going to cut some rubber strips. Now, I know I need to cover a 20 by 16 inch hole, uh, so we're gonna make the strips a little bit bigger. Actually, that is the, the size that they're gonna be. They're gonna be about, uh, it'll be going to about 23 inches wide, and then we'll have about 16 inches long. And why do I do this? For these critters, and now, Check this out. This lady laid some eggs here a little while ago. Oh my gosh. So we got eggs that we got to dig up. Good girl. And now the great thing is, guys, is when I'm done with this, I am not going to have to load them all into these bins and then bring them into the shed there. Okay? So that is going to make my life so much easier. Uh, so let's get on with the next portion, shall we? All right, so this is how basically I get this done. This is the pond liner that I'm going to use, and I'm going to use these as slats. So I'm going to first just kind of measure out what I need, and then cut it, and uh, we'll get back over there, and I'll show you how I assemble it. But first, I want to make sure that I have something of a straight edge, and I'm tracing an edge that I already had from the Galapagos tortoise shelter that I just built. So I'll just take my marker and mark it. Nice straight edge. Whoop-de-doo. There you go. So I know that I'm going to need 
somewhere in the neighborhood of 20. Uh, the opening is 20 inches, so I wanna get a little bit more than 20 inches because these are gonna overlap. So let's go to about 24 inches right here. I'll just put a little dot, <clears throat> measure that out. Then I just take this and look, I'm eyeballing this stuff up, guys. At the end of the day, it does not need to be perfect. Uh, in fact, one of my favorite quotes nowadays is, it's just a tortoise house. It just needs to work. That's what we need it to do. It needs to work, and uh, that's the important thing. So you know what? Let's also measure out. We know we need 16 inches. There's 16 inches. Okay, so I'm going to come across here, try and make as close to square as possible. 16 inches is, the, uh, is definitely a little bit more than I need. Uh, as far as that, let's go maybe one more inch. There you go. Just to be sure. Just to be nice and safe. All right, so we've got a little bit of that. Now, next thing we're going to do is just draw the slats so I can cut them out. All right. Remember, these are going to overlap a little bit. We're also going to need uh, something to attach them to, but I'm going to attach them uh, when we get back out where the saw is. There we go, just a few slats. So it's very simple, guys. Here's what you do. <clears throat> Let's cut them. This stuff cuts fairly easy. It's heavy duty liner, and uh, I've got so much scrap liner from all these Aquascape Pond builds that I'm very fortunate that it comes in handy in other ways. May not have a full piece for a pond, but I've certainly got enough for a few tortoise doors that I'm gonna be doing in the future here. Just cut them off. Okay, so I got all my slats and uh, I'm gonna head back over once I find a piece of wood that I can attach them to. I gotta go searching for that. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go search for that. When we pick it up, I'll be back over there assembling this thing. All right, so I went and just found a piece of two by four that's actually long enough to span the opening of the door. I'm pretty happy about that. We're just gonna get some staples. We're gonna staple this in, and uh, this is going to be assembled next. So I'm pretty psyched at how easy this is coming together. It also helps when you're, when you're fresh, when you've actually done one, well, maybe once or 300 times to be perfectly honest. So let's go ahead, just gonna nail this down with some staples. I just like to put a lot in. But what we're also gonna do is you'll see. So that's that. That is done. But before I go any further, I need to change from this socket driver to my good old star driver. Okay, here we go. Next, we're gonna assemble it. We're gonna put it on. Uh, so let's get you guys set up in a good vantage point place i suppose there we go i'm gonna crawl in here after i grab some screws all right while we're at it, i'm gonna get my level and then i'm gonna get in here oh good grief oh not quite as big as the galops huh but we'll do the trick nonetheless so what i like to do is simple just kind of put it up like this Oh, that looks nice. Look at that, guys. Covers it up nicely. That's all you need. I mean, we're just gonna put it up like that. And uh, what I'm gonna do next, can you guys stay right there for me? I don't know. Oh, there we are. All right, I think that works. Uh, we're gonna just check the level. Just because. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe just down a smidge. I mean, you can really do this by eye. Here we go. Uh -uh. 
All right, we got it in. So we got the first one in, let's get the second screws in, then this door is done and uh, we can start cleaning up, which is gonna be fun. Okay, well, I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. in what it lacks in space it makes up for in comfort we are done i am excited we got the flaps up we got the roof done oh i'm gonna get out here and show you guys around i'll give you the tour of the new crib oh okay so here's how it is very simple design flat roof don't need to worry about a pitch on account we're underneath this uh inside i'm gonna put some hay i got a little Stone there, some stones here to make it easy for them to crawl in and out. Thanks to my friends at Yardco Rock Company in Boynton Beach. We spray foam insulated. We have rigid insulation. We've got the slats on. We've got, oh, by the way, we also have a Stansfield heating pad right there. I screwed it into the top. We got a little channel right there for the cord. Once I close it, I can just move this over uh, like so. And it fits in nice uh goes through it's kind of rigged up but you know what this thing's only gonna be operational a few times out of the year but as far as heat so we've got it pretty dialed uh when i want to get the roof up and keep it that way i just take it and prop it up like so so there you have it done like i said gonna run out get some hay throw it in there and the tortoises are going to spend their first night in it tonight so i'm really really excited because it's the one thing that this enclosure was needing was a tortoise shelter we've got water source we've got grass we've got tortoises doing their thing we got to go over here though we got to check oh i also got a knife that i need to take away before i get yelled at by my lovely wife i always leave knives lying around probably not a good idea with the children or any murderers in the neighborhood but uh right here we've got some eggs Let's get these out of the ground. I would say today was an amazing and successful day here at the camp. We got things done. Hey, where are those eggs? We got things done and that's always fun. And what's more is we have the fruits of our hard labor. More radiated tortoise eggs. Oh, so cool. It's so amazing when these animals decide that they like where they live and they bless me with these amazing fruits. Ah, fruits of the earth, 250 million years of awesomeness. How cool. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit more in depth. Uh, I tried to get as many steps as I could because I think this type of build is something that most of you would need. Um, it's an easy, inexpensive thing to do because you guys probably don't have a lot of Galapagos tortoises, but you may have tortoises the size of these radiateds. And uh, hey, I think it was a lot of fun and it's done. So awesome. Thank you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, you can always check us out on Patreon also if you want to help support the camp. All right, everyone, there it is. I'll see you later.